بارک اللہ فیق تفضل حکمران is the one who ends up taking the authority he is the one that اہل الحل والعقد they recognize that he is our leader he is the one that has the authority so for example I'll give you like examples to illustrate it he is the one that has power over the military he is the one that has the power over the policing system for example in a country where there is he is the one that has authority How is he recognized? By Ahlul Halli wal Aqd. People of importance, people of recognition. How many of them should say that he is a leader? Even if one of them says it. That's why, what's the delil for that? What's the proof for that? Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu straight away said, I've given him bay'ah. He's a khalifa. After Umar did that, not permissible for anybody else to rebel. Are you with me? So the hakim, in short, the ruler, is the one that has authority. So for example, if somebody ends up taking authority over a nation by force, which is not allowed, but if he does it by force, and he ends up getting the authority, he has the power, the military, the, and he has the control, then everybody has to give him obedience. Because he's got the control now. If you look at it, what's the underlying thing? Because the deen is based upon what? Yani al Sheikh Abdurrahman al-Sa'di, he said, uh, it's, it's based upon weighing out the benefits and the harms. The mafasid and the masalih. You have to look at the masalih. Which one is aslah? Which one is better? Yani more, uh, 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 yani which one's more aslah? Which is more better for society? Or better for the individual? Or whatever case it may be. And which one is least afsad? Which one brings the least amount of fasad? So yes, a zalim hakim has come. He's taken over. Imagine, I'm just saying, imagine, hypothetically speaking. A zalim leader has come. He's taken over the land. He's got the authority now, or the majority authority. Which one's going to bring more fasad? Obeying him or rebelling against him? Rebelling against him. So, you know, as they say, you know, uh, in Urdu, in Sanka Bandabano, you know, Raminal, you know. <laughs> yeah. In current setup. Not you, I'm not talking about you. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying, I'm, I just want to, you know, elaborate. In current system, we have one prime minister. Yeah. Uh, we have one army chief. Yeah. Who is our, uh, and we have one president. Who is Kukmara? Who's the official hakim, you tell me? Who's the official hakim? Who's the official hakim? Prime Minister is the executive, right? Yeah. He runs the affairs of the country. Yeah. President gives the order. No, but... If and, it, and there is one, another part. Yeah. That is uh, Chief Justice of Pakistan. Yeah, yeah. Where is the, you know, uh, judiciary company? You, obviously Because, here we're talking about a so-called... Democratic system. Yes. So it's not such that we have one particular leader who is a dictator, an official dictator. Are you with me? Yeah? Or it's not a kingship where everything that he says, you have to go by that. But obviously, if it's the case that you're going to go against him, if it's the case that you're going to start attacking the system, the system, i.e. all of these people combined, the president, the prime minister, the chief justice, the uh, chief of staff of the army, right? If it's the case that you're going to start causing a rebellion against, well, either one of them or the system as a whole, then obviously you're causing rebellion. The people that went out in the streets and they started rebelling against the army, was that not considered rebellion in our religion? Yes, it is. Why? Well, look at Hajjaj bin Yusuf. Was he the Khalifa? He wasn't the Khalifa. He was an Amir. He was a governor. But that was still considered Khuruj. Because you're going against the authority of the Amir or the ruling system. Okay, our ruling system isn't of kingship. It isn't of a Khalifa. It is of the so-called European, Roman, democratic system. It's a system. If you're going to go out against the army and start saying... So, so the underlying, uh, underlying is that if we go against the system... The, si the official system... Maybe Prime Minister... Yeah, because, you know, regardless of how and which type of idari it's been divided into, 
you know that you're going against the haki, the Amir or the, author, the authorities if it's the case that you're going to go against the army. We can put it like if you break the law. Can you say like... I mean, break... I mean, you're confused now. Yeah. It's a situation. Justice is the responsibility of Chief Justice, not the Prime Minister, not the Quran Directly. Well, you said... Right. Then what is the purpose of Chief Justice? I mean, yeah, yeah, no, sorry. When we, we're talking about Wulat al Umur, those that are in charge of your affairs, that again doesn't just cover the Khalifa. It covers all of those governors and those ministers in our modern day terminology that are under him. Right? Now, nobody is saying that you can't go and complain. Against even the Khalifa, you can do that in our Sharia. It's allowed, but there is a manhaj and a way that the Messenger alayhi salatu outlined for us. Now, what you go and say it in front of him, and if possible, you go and say it in privacy with him. And so that was the way of the Tabi'een, right? So in our modern day system, we have portals. We can make a complaint against the chief. I'm not saying to anybody make a complaint against anybody, right? But I'm just saying that we have a system, right? A portal system, for example, right? I mean, I've never done it myself before, but they call it FIRs, huh? Yeah? You can do this. There are official ways and make means which would not obviously be considered Bhagavat. It's not considered rebellion. I'll give you one Go on then. Uh, 